Hello there and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. It's so great to see you back. 2023 is ahead and we want to make it the best year yet. So make sure you subscribe to this channel because we're going deep into this this year. Also, join my free Facebook group, which you can find in the link in the description. Now, listen, guys, this is a huge, huge lesson that we all need to learn. When I discovered this lesson, everything in myself changed. Everything in my life started to change. So it's now. It's, it's here. I have two major things that you need to do. If you're doing this work to heal yourself or to manifest more in your life, you need to listen to me right now because I'm going to go deep into how to change your life in 2023 now, okay? And when I learned these lessons, I'm seeing such beautiful results, okay? So working with Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, I've also a big fan of Louise Hay, Dr. Joseph Murphy, Neville Goddard. And I think it's a good idea to not be stuck in one type of thing and be able to pick from everything. You know, just so we know that everyone's talking the same language, but what actually works for you? But here are the biggest lessons that I learned last year that are changing my life and healing my clients and healing everyone else too. So the major factor that is blocking everyone from connecting to their healing or living their best life is not that they're doing the meditations wrong, not that they're a bad person, not that they're anything. The true block from the divine energy that's going to bring you everything you want is the fact that you don't love yourself. You don't love yourself purely or truly. Now, I'm going to go into that in slightly more detail. Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about it wonderfully when he says about the divine presence, the divine healing presence, you know, the infinite. Well... If we are one with that divine presence, if we are made in the creation of that, as it tells us in the Bible, then we need to realise that when we don't love ourselves, when we're disapproving of ourselves, we're disapproving of the divine also. Think about this. If someone kept having a go at you all the time, would you want to do miraculous things for them? Would you want to heal them? Would you want to give them everything that you had? No, you wouldn't you'd actually do the opposite. You'd go away. And this is the thing that we forget when we're on our journey, is that actually everything we want is within us. So we need to love ourselves. Once we love ourselves, we unlock that presence, that healing presence, that manifestation capability within us that's going to change our lives. So you need to love yourself. You need to learn to love yourself. And you're going to you're gonna come back at me. Some of you, this is going to trigger. Well, how can I love myself when I'm so terrible? I've done terrible things. You're living in the past. You need to learn to love yourself. I'm going to give you a technique that changed my life and it's going to change yours too, okay? Before I give you this technique, I'm going to tell you about a time when I was going through burnout, stomach issues, throat issues, my hair was falling out. I was, I was at the peak of my career as an actor. I lost love for myself. I was so horrible to myself. The way I spoke to myself, I would swear at myself I was so angry with everything that was going on. But when I took the time to look at myself in the mirror and I used this wonderful Louise Hay technique where I said, Michael, you are good enough. I love and approve of you. You are wonderful. And I did this for a while. I did this for as long as I could until I felt the change in me, until I started liking saying it to myself again, until when I looked in the mirror, I actually enjoyed who I saw looking back at me. That's what I'm talking about here, guys, okay? So you must do this daily. Do it alongside your meditation practice. You must do this, okay? It's very important. The second step is that you must be the guard of your thoughts. It's okay to meditate, it's okay to meditate. That's going to do good for you. It's going to teach you how to be observant of yourself. But the truth is, is that you must be an absolute guard of your mind. So as you go throughout your day, you must keep your self-talk to the highest level. So again, like when I was saying I love you to myself, now I say I am abundant. I am, I am fully booked with wonderful, gorgeous clients. I'm able to live where I want, 
go where I want, do what I want. At a moment's notice, I am free. I am in love. I love my life and I will keep this going. The divine healing presence flows through me, healing every cell of my body. That's a good one for you guys. So we must say these things to us. We must walk around and we must then accept them as truth. We must continue in our journey through life as if what we've just affirmed is absolutely true for us and stop reacting to life. So anytime that reaction comes up, you must correct it with one of those affirmations until you start to feel your energy change slightly. Now you can't add gratitude onto anger. It's not gonna go that way quickly, but you can keep affirming God's peace and harmony flows through me, into my heart and through my life, into my relationships, into my body, my business. I am at one with the infinite healing presence within me. I am at one with the infinite healing presence within me. And you keep repeating this over and over again until you start to feel a shift in your energy, you just slightly change. Then you know that you're doing it. You don't stop until you feel the change of energy. These two things have been magical in the manifestation process of my life, and they are bringing me wonderful clients that are healing quickly and regularly. It's bringing me wonderful new experiences, and it's allowing me to feel like anything's possible. Do you wanna feel like this too? Comment down below. Are you gonna start taking on these two great lessons? Thank you so much, guys. All the love. Remember, like, share and subscribe. Join my free Facebook group and reach out to me on my website if you need any help. Take care. God bless. Goodbye.